Hello again. Well, today we've got our new 2016 DNX series of receivers. What I'd like to do is show you how to connect an iPhone to the receiver to allow for seamless traffic integration services with your Garmin navigation system when combined with the Kenwood traffic powered by Inrix app. What's really great about this is once you complete this initial setup procedure, you'll never have to do it again. It simply launches in the background of your phone automatically every time you get into your vehicle. So let's zoom in and take a closer look. Now, the very first thing that you'll want to do is download the Kenwood Traffic powered by Inrix app. So I've got the app downloaded on the phone. Just going to start the app. And you may see a message that does ask you to turn on Bluetooth to allow the Kenwood Traffic powered by Inrix to connect to accessories. Although this is one of the methods for connecting it, we do suggest that for the most seamless integration with Apple CarPlay and then using the Garmin navigation and the Inrix traffic services, you simply connect by a USB one-wire cable, like our KCA IP103 or an Apple certified Lightning to USB cable. So just go ahead and select OK. You'll notice that it says not connected. Now while it's not connected, if I were to select the nav source, hit the back arrow and go into the apps, Notice that help is the top left app. Now I'll select the home icon and I'm going to take my lightning to USB cable, plug it into the phone, and you will notice that connected will come up. Now if we go over to the navigation system and back into the apps, you'll now notice four additional apps. Fuel prices, dynamic parking, weather, and road weather. So these are just additional benefits besides the traffic services themselves that you're able to get with this Kenwood traffic powered by Inrix app. Now the fuel prices, they happen to be one of my favorites. If you go into the fuel prices, you can actually search by the grade of gasoline. So right now it's bringing up regular gasoline prices. If you hit these three bars, you can go in and select your fuel grade. So let's go ahead, select premium, hit save. Now it's going to find all the premium gas stations in the area. So we'll go ahead and select a gas station, route directly to that gas station. You'll also notice that it's no longer grayed out where this little car icon is. It And in fact, Please it's actually highlighted route. has some traffic congestion just on the way there right now. So if there is traffic on the way, it may turn yellow if there's a little bit of traffic, possibly red if there's a lot of traffic or a longer delay. If there's an alternate route, it'll also give you the option of selecting an alternate route. So pretty cool. Now, if for some reason this did not launch and your Kenwood traffic app did not go to a connected standpoint on your phone, let's ensure that the settings are correct on the radio. If you have the default settings, it would have connected right away. But just in case, let's make sure. So go ahead, select these nine boxes, and you're going to go to the settings icon, bottom right hand corner. You notice the AV icon, we'll select that, and we want to go into, and actually the first thing you'll need to do is disconnect from the USB cable to have access to this. Now you notice that automotive mirroring is currently off. In order for CarPlay to work, automotive mirroring must actually be turned on. But to change our connection settings, you do have to turn it off temporarily. We'll go into App iPod Setup. Now, it worked because it's in the iPhone USB connection status. If by chance it was under Android Bluetooth or iPhone Bluetooth, then you would have needed to change it. So simply select Done, and do ensure that you select automotive mirroring back to on. Now we'll go back to our navigation systems and enjoy using your Kenwood traffic powered by Enrix. Well, as always, thanks again for tuning in and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.